Today on Hot News, when it comes to staying hydrated, researchers have discovered something better than water. And you won't believe what it is. What's the hardest decision you've had to make? Besides getting out of bed and going to class. A news service shows you what it's like to be Paris Hilton for a day. Bank account not included, of course. Nope, this isn't footage from Jackass 3. This guy just likes crabs. Have you ever wanted to run a multinational corporation? Our game of the week will give you a taste. This could be the most exciting seven minutes of your life since that middle school slumber party where you went into the closet with that cute boy. Yeah, we heard about that. Hot News starts right now. Got milk? If not, you better get some. According to the British Journal of Nutrition, it hydrates better than water or sports drinks. Researchers had a group of people ride stationary bikes until they lost nearly 2% of their body weight. Then they drank skim milk, water, or Powerade. The scientists found that after several hours, milk drinkers retained about 70% of that fluid. Those who guzzled Powerade retained 38%, and water drinkers only retained 36%. So Ron Burgundy was wrong. Milk is not a bad choice for a hot day. Great Odin's Raven. Party people, time for a little trivia. Which strange course is really offered at Frostburg State University in Maryland? Is it A, online gaming, destructive or constructive? B, the science of Harry Potter or C, management lessons from SpongeBob SquarePants? The answer is B, the science of Harry Potter. So, um, what's next? Uh, the art of Quidditch? Prepare yourselves. This story isn't for the faint of heart. Usually when a guy is covered in this many crabs, he needs to see a doctor. But this Indian man spends hours inside a cage with hundreds of crabs voluntarily. He says he's loved them ever since he was a kid. He even puts them in his mouth. The only way I like my crabs is with breading and fries. Which of the following will help you accurately predict if it's going to rain? Is it A, a groundhog, B, a pine cone, C, the sun, or D, a thermometer? We'll have the answer just ahead. You're watching hotnews.tv. Tell us what you think. Email us at feedback at hotnews.tv. Which of these can actually help you forecast rain? It's B, a pine cone. Look closely at the scales. If they're closed, rain is on the way. Life's all about choices. For instance, go to the library or go to that party. Okay, that's an easy one. We scoured the country and asked, what's the most difficult decision you've had to make? Well, I used to be a dancer and I quit dancing. And that was the most difficult decision for me, to go back to school. I was deciding to move forward in my life and actually pursue careers instead of uh, staying back with my friends and doing the same things over and over again like they're doing. Which college to go to? I guess going to college, which college to go to, that was pretty difficult. Um, it was between here and a school in the Middle East. Probably coming to the United States and leaving Ecuador behind. But after a while, it wasn't that much harder, you know, and so much nicer over here. Actually, figuring out what I'm studying, because coming from um, a very uh, a Haitian family, they're very focused on certain particular career paths that are going to bring money. I think it's, it's a personal issue with uh, with a girlfriend, having to uh, staying with her or leaving her. Ah uh, yes, the old, if I go there will be trouble, if I stay it will be double quandary. Bonus points if you can name that tune, kids. Come on, it's The Clash. You have no sense of history. Most celebrities try to avoid paparazzi, but for some people, having photographers chase them around is worth paying for. New services popping up all around the country let you hire your own paparazzi. For instance, Celeb for a Day's Megastar Package includes six photographers stalking you, a personal publicist to field their nosy questions, and a bodyguard to make sure no one gets too close. You even get a fake tabloid with you on the cover. 
Do you have enough funny in your diet? Well, it's time to get your daily dose of vitamin C. That's C for Colbert, of course. Here's the Colbert Reports. Mike Huckabee, juggernaut, or the Huckanaut, <laughs> just keeps rolling down the hill, crushing everybody in their path. You know, uh, there are a couple of wobbly wheels on the Huckanaut. Uh, evidently, it is mathematically impossible for him to become the nominee of the Republican Party, but he has said himself he did not major in math. He majored in not evolution. No. He believes in God. He's going to bring math up to God's standards. Today, I'm going to be asked about a lost necklace. What am I, the lost and found? Hi, Mary. My name's Abby. I am wondering if you can help me in telling me where I might look for a necklace that I lost recently. It's a very special necklace. It belonged to my late sister. And I believe I lost it sometime when I was traveling in the past couple of weeks. So if you can give me any hints as to where I should look for it, I would greatly appreciate it. Well, Abby, I can't always find lost things. I'm not the Oracle of Delphi. I wish I were sometimes. My feeling is that the necklace will be found. I know that's you know not 100% helpful when it's the, uh, the necklace that belonged to your beloved sister. The only thing I can say is, could you call or get in touch with anyone who you stayed with while you were traveling? The possibility that this necklace fell into some kind of drawer. Sometimes when we travel, even in a hotel, sometimes we put things in drawers. You need to go back to every drawer that you were near during this trip, and this may lead you to the necklace. And I'm very sorry I can't be any clearer than that, but I, I do think you're going to find it. Working at McDonald's may not seem like a lot of fun, but you'd be surprised. In the McDonald's video game, you have to manage every aspect of the company. You plant soybeans and raise cattle. You hire counter people and plan advertising campaigns. You even decide who to bribe. In case the whole bribing thing didn't tip you off, this game is not endorsed by McDonald's. The designers created this mick game to criticize the practices of the fast food industry. I guess I missed the whole point because it kind of just made me want a large fries. If you're watching this in the morning, be sure to check back tonight to see Reality Check, our rundown of the day's top news stories. And if you're watching us in the evening, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode.